टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी द वर्क डन बाय द सोर्स द वर्क डन बाय द सोर्स टू मेंटेन अ करंट टू मेंटेन अ करंट इन एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी द वर्क डन बाय द सोर्स टू मेंटेन अ करंट इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी so we are going to consider one electrical circuit in which i current is flowing through the circuit i current is flowing through the circuit and this is attached to with a battery so this here we are having positive terminal of the battery and here we are having negative terminal of the battery so i current is flowing inside this circuit and charge q is maintained in the circuit so i current i current i current is flowing to maintain charge q in the circuit for time t for Time t second. So that means I current is flowing through this circuit, electrical circuit, and the charge Q is maintained in this electrical circuit for the time t. So now we have proved one expression as earlier Q equal to I T. so q stands for charge i stands for current and t stands for time t second so that is for time t seconds so t for time i for current and q for charge so this is our electrical charge formula q equal to it in the circuit diagram so we know q equal to it now we apply a potential difference of v we apply a potential difference v in this electrical circuit why we are applying potential difference in this electrical circuit so this electrical circuit potential difference which we have provided that is to maintain the charge q that is to maintain the charge q in the electrical circuit so this potential difference helps in maintaining so potential difference potential difference maintain 
maintain charge q in the circuit so here work is done so now work is done when charge q flows in the circuit so we know the one relation v equal to w over q we know v equal to w over q so from here we will get the value of work done w equal to vq from this relation we get w equal to vq from 1 we will substitute the value of 1 over here so w equal to v the value of q is it now instead of q we will put the value it so here w equal to it or vit so this is the relation for the work done in the electrical circuit so here we know that electrical energy electrical energy is equal to work done electrical energy is equal to work done so that means we will write E equal to W equal to VIT. So this is the relation between this is the relation of electrical energy in the circuit. Work done. Work done is equal to electrical energy consumed in an electrical circuit electrical circuit so that means w equal to e equal to v i t now we will substitute it as 1 so from this definition of related term electrical energy we are going to do electric power next is electric power what is electric power what is electric power the amount of the amount of electric energy consumed amount of electric energy consumed in an electrical circuit per unit time per unit time so this is electrical power how we will define the electrical power the amount of electric energy consumed in an electrical circuit per unit time that means amount of electrical energy is consumed per unit time per unit time is important in this definition so this is called electric power so we know power is equal to electrical energy consumed per unit time that means electrical energy consumed per unit time so now we are having the units so P equal to or power is equal to electrical energy consumed electric energy is equal to power multiply this time with the power so from here 
so t will be multiplied that means time so from here we will get e equal to p t so this we have calculated the definition from here now we know from one e equal to v i t so here we are going to substitute the value of electrical energy that is equal to work done so we are going to substitute this value put one v i t equal to p into t now t cancelled with t so here we will get p equal to v i power is equal to product of potential difference into current so now si unit of electric power so from the this term we are going to define this si units so potential difference is measured in volt and current is measured in ampere ampere and volt is equal to power power is equal to volt ampere so volt ampere is equal to 1 watt 1 watt is equal to volt ampere so from here we can say SI unit is what SI unit of power is what is what so this is the electrical power definition term and its SI unit now we are going to describe what is what that means SI unit of power is what we are going to define what what is what what is what if one ampere of current flowing in electrical circuit having one volt potential difference potential difference this is called one watt one ampere of current flowing in electrical circuit having one volt potential difference this is called one watt other relation is one horse power is equal to 746 watt one horse power is equal to 746 watt now we are going to discuss relation ship between electrical electrical energy and electrical power and electric power now we are going to derive our relationship between electrical energy and electric power so as earlier we have defined the electrical energy and electric power we have derived our relationship between them now we are going to define or describe our relationship between electrical energy and electric power from the definition we know that electric energy <coughs> electric 
electric energy it is E equal to V I T. So as earlier we have derived this relation. So now electric power. Electric power. P equal to V I. So this two relation we have already discussed in the starting of our video. So put number one and number two. Now we are going to put the value of V I equal to P in the first put two in one. What we will get? E equal to P T. That means electrical energy is equal to power into time. So this is your relation between electric energy and electric power. Hope you have understood the definitions of electric energy and electric power and its SI unit. And last, we have derived a relationship between. It's a very, very easy topic. And in exam, the definitions are most important. So learn by heart this relation and definition. Thank you.